Well, I think it's very important to encourage students and tell them that there is a lot more out there than just the subjects that they're studying right now in school. Sometimes they get sort of fixated on the day-to-day -day, uh, studies that they're doing. They think, oh, it's so important that I pass this quiz or this test, and that's all that they can see. And it's very important to give them a wider vision, that there's a huge world out there that they are part of and that they will be part of as soon as they finish with their education. And I also think it's very, very important to encourage the students to study and to be enthused about a wide range of things because the future is rapidly changing. And what they think they might be preparing for right today might not even be there by the time that they're ready to enter the workforce. What I always told my kids was it's so important that they know how to read and to read really, really well because if you can't read, then there's so much that's closed off to you. And it's also very important, I think, to be able to uh, do math. And I know uh, my kids sometimes said, but why? Why are we going to use it for? And I said, I don't know, because I don't know the future. But I do know that the skills that you are developing will be invaluable to you as you go on out into the future. When I was getting ready to graduate from college with a degree in chemistry, I went up to my college professor a couple of weeks before I graduated because I'd never ever known anybody that ever worked in chemistry. And I said, uh, how do I go about getting a job in chemistry? He just looked at me and he said, what? You're planning on working? And I said, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> And so uh, it was very difficult in those years. But things have changed dramatically. And as I look back, it's just hard to believe the social changes that have taken place in our country. And I just think it's unbelievable. When I was a little girl, um, especially growing up here in Oklahoma, you know, we here in Oklahoma, we talk a lot about pioneers, and we, think, and we talked a lot about uh, going out and settling the West, that type of thing. So we used to play pioneers when I was a little girl a lot. And I thought, wow, when I grow up, I'd like to grow up and you know, be an explorer. Then I thought, when I grow up, there won't be anything left to do, be done because everything is already being done. And then I read, I started reading a little bit of science fiction, and I also read about Robert Goddard, who was flying rockets out in New Mexico, and I thought, now that's what I could do when I grow up. I could grow up and be an explorer of the universe because surely the entire universe won't be explored by the time I'm an adult. And so that was sort of the genesis of that. And, you know, that was a long, long time before America or any other country had a space program. So it's just amazing to me how things worked out.